Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in our river journal on the Snake River. Let's do... Good morning. I'm excited. Today we start back paint class and I've been painting like a fool. Look at this table. Not that kind of painting though. I've been doing acrylics. And playing. Back to watercolors. So today we're going to talk about Sacagawea. When I say talk about it, we're going to read it from Amazon. Not Amazon. <laughs> Wikipedia. How do you think you spell her name? S-A-C-A-G-A-W-E-A, -A -A Sacagawea. So I have been painting a ton. And this picture I got off of uh, Wikipedia, I think. And I'm not selling this, so I'm not going to make any profit from it. Somebody else drew it, not me. I think that's a pretty one to go in an art journal. Still don't know what I'm going to do with that snake page. I'm just going to keep skipping over it. Because I am starting to get my curvature of the spine real bad, I'm going to put her on this side. Now comes the dilemma. Should I use some of the painting that I've done this weekend? Or should I do something else? I know kind of what I want to say. Let's see. I'm going to just put her statistics. When she was born, when she died, what tribe she was from, who she helped, who she was sold, sold to, I think, um, as for a wife. All right, let's see. We've got a couple things over here. Ooh, she might be pretty on this one. More pastel -y. Mm. Not so sure. Here's another vellum strip, but I don't want to do the same thing right after I did it before. I have this still. Oh, I don't dislike that. I really don't dislike that. What else do I have over here? My bag of tricks. Oh, I still have... Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? I still have this page. Hmm. I think the reason why I have such a hard time with this painting thing that I did is because it's not bright colors. It's cardstock. I don't think I like that though for her. This would be good for something else still, hopefully. Um, This, I mean, we've been doing so much painting. These are all just scrap pages. Or. I kind of like that. We had a 
paint explosion here. I think I'm going to use this and just write on Posco pen her name. I would really like to layer it up though. Hmm. You know, she helped Lewis and Clark. Can I put a map behind her, even though it's not the United States? Aha. Uh -huh. That's a possibility. And then put a piece of green paper over here. up page and just write it on there kind of like a trail blazing stretch possibly so she did help Lewis and Clark I don't even know what this is but it's gorgeous Something out of a magazine. Oh, okay. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. I think it came out of that Japanese magazine that I got in New York this past summer. That's what we're doing. Everybody else, you have to play another day. Not today. I thought about, remember how I did the ghost of uh, Samuel Clements back on the Mississippi? I really liked that page and I thought about doing the ghost of Sacagawea and use that same process. Trying to reach for it here. Ghost of Mark Twain. Boy, this one's not finished either. Boy, I better get going. I don't know. Maybe I should take that. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. All right. Okay. We're going to have this as a tip in. And even though this isn't the right size, I can write stuff over here. You know, I think I taped all this together. It was two or three different pages of the same painting by the same person, and I just made them. Oh, I really like that. Okay, we're going to glue this down. It's thick paper, though, and it's cannot, ooh, it can't go over that spine. Okay, we're 
we're going to cut this a little bit. Even though it's the right size, it's not going to fit anymore because of the curve. So I'm going to cut it to the left of this thing a little bit. Hopefully I do this right. We still have the possibility of snow tomorrow. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn on one of my other lights. <laughs> Let there be light. Sorry about that. I'm sure it's probably pitiful on a good day, but this is a low class filming theater studio, <laughs> whatever you call it. I hate to cover this up on the back because it's so pretty, but I'm going to. This book was a Japanese magazine, but it was just really thick. Um, I think I got it in that Japanese store, Kumi Kami, something like that in New York. Alright, we'll work on this. Getting it stuck down a little better. What else? I'm ready for watercolor class. Uh, snow, construction, same old, same old as yesterday. <laughs> Except that Bella goes back to school starting today. She went back to her mom's last night. Alright, I'm going to go with all this a little bit better afterwards. Now, this is going to be taped. Let's put Sacagawea on here. And I left a tiny bit of white border and I think I'm okay with that. Kirchie, have you been playing in your Hobonichi? I hope so. Alright, I have washi tape that is trees. Oh. four rolls in this set and they're all trees in season or no I guess they were different kinds of trees perusing through one's washi tape overflowing drawer as one does oh that's tulips Florida leaves Dinosaurs. Okay, one more drawer. I'm gonna need a guide to guide me to my washi tape drawers. Oh, here's green plants. Okay. And more green. I just found this that I made a long time ago, last summer, but it's a globe, and that kind of goes with what we're thinking here. Alright, can't find that washi tape. I think we're going to use this green plants. Now, my only dilemma is, it's torn at the top but it's still too high, but I think I like the torn edge. So I'm going to trim it a little bit. Let's make it look like mountains, right? Right. 
and it needs to be trimmed. Ugh. This one is really thin. I think I'm going to use this tree. It's not the right colors, but I'm going to put the other one over it. Actually, got this is the winter trees because it's got snowflakes, but it's winter now, so we're going to go with it. try to leave a smidgen just a tiny tiny gap right there so that it folds smoother don't know if it works but I keep doing it it doesn't not work let's put it that way now Gaposis here. Well, that might be short and sweet for today, but I think the paper's doing all the work. I gotta glue this better. Super thick paper here and curvature of the spine. Yes, I know how to prevent it. I just don't like to journal that way. I'm not a good flipper rounder person. I'm gonna hold this for a minute. What else? Okay, the globe. I'm gonna cut it out. All right, stick. Ooh. I might just cut a strip of that and have it fit. exactly right or the right but it's the right colors in my opinion and it's my book and I'm, I'm okay with it is really happening here. It all kicks off. I'll have stories to tell afterwards. How much fun my next, my new watercolor. It's really not a class. It is a teacher that facilitates. If you have any questions, you can ask her. And it's done at a church. Um, this church has uh, lots of neat classes in all of its, to some of its locations. Um, it's a Methodist church in around several different locations. There's two here. They have this set of classes, and I guess it's a way for them to earn money. But they have people, mostly people from their congregation, who have had knowledge of other things, teach classes. And it's really kind of cool. Like last year semester. It goes in like nine weeks spurts. Um, last 
time there was a class on the Bob Hope uh, comedian USO shows and a guy that was worked with him on those shows is retired obviously now and it was all his memories and he just sat and talked about different things in different places and I, uh, it's really cool there's a quilting group which happens at the same time and they're learning they're teaching quilting which I don't need to be taught <laughs> in my opinion that sounded wrong all right but there's several different things uh, this time that I would have liked to have taken but they all of course conflict with my um, painting so there's there, the lady that teach works in this class is an artist my sister-in-law was doing this and um, she would have actual lessons but um, this lady will just answer questions if you have them while you're there and it's just actually a place for like-minded people to be together doing like-minded things and uh, and it's an hour and a half almost two hours, an hour and 45 minutes but anyhow it's, it's interesting it's fun Okay. Oh, this makes me nervous. I hope I don't mess this up. I, well, I'm just going to have to do it in my writing. Here we go. Am I in? I hope. Seventeen eighty-eight, eighteen twelve. She wasn't very old. Twenty-four. That's kind of sad. She was a limb high. Shoshone. A guide for Lewis and Clark. different deaths, two different dates for the day she died in Wikipedia, either in 1812 or 1884. She was either 24 or 95. That's a huge difference. <laughs> All right, she married A French fur trader. Charbonneau. And her son was an American Indian explorer guide for fur trappers. Or and for trapper, trader, military scout during the Mexican-American War. Gold prospector, hotel operator in Northern California. I wonder where. Well, let's see. Probably with the gold discovery in Northern California. Oh, 
gold mining. Yep. Placer County on the American River. We've talked on the, about the American River. Near what is now Auburn. Huh. Interesting, interesting. American River was part of the first. All right, let me get this down because I don't know if I'm going to spell his name right. Interesting. Jean Baptiste Charbonneau was her son. He was 61 when he died. He did a lot in his lifetime. I'm going to put his time to 1805 to 1866. I like this. Can you see? I just think that's pretty. Ooh. Sacagawea, 1788-1812. She was from the Limhai Shoshone tribe, a guide for Lewis and Clark, married to Toussaint, Toussaint Charbonneau, her son Jean Baptiste Charbonneau. And Was the gold mining? Oh, American River was part of the Sacramento River system. I'm thinking that's what we talked about. This has to dry. Yeah, when we talked about the snake, and camping, that was along the Feather River. America, Fe Feather River, which is a tributary or vice versa, or the American River, during which is part of the Sacramento River Basin. That's why we journal, because we learn. Sacagawea's son had a hotel during the gold rush in California. I wonder... Huh. Huh. He was also... At other sites such as Silver City, Idaho, which is a ghost town, and I've been there as a kid. Probably on one of the trips that we did the Snake River, which is why we're doing it. Full circle. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for watching. This was a cool one for me. And it's beautiful. And it's connected to me. Cool. See y'all tomorrow. So yes, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You can find me here on Instagram. And I'll see you all tomorrow.